let's get everybody. Yeah, it's your boy. Oh, Shane Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity John. Timo, so far from music. So listen, I keep trying to get away from this. I, I, I know that you brothers is tired of me talking about Will Smith, but I'm getting rich of Will Smith's stupid ass. So I got to keep talking about this, guys. And, you know, it, it's interesting when something happens to a big person on social media, whether they cause it or not, what people tend to do is people go back and look at old stuff. Some more like the fresh and fit thing. You know, when they had a situation with Asia doll, they went back and like look for clips of them um, having issues with black women. Well, the same thing is happening with Will Smith. OK, so now they're going out and talking about his past criminal record. They're going back to past things. But because Jada Pinkett has pretty much kind of came down on Will Smith, you know, trying to say that, you know, what he did was wrong. People are now looking for old footage of him emascul being emasculated by her. If they could see any kind of proof of this. And can I get a ding, 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 ding? We have a winner, right? Like, we do. It's uh, it, it, it's great. Like, it's a, it's, it's a new uh, new thing. And and there's a video that's out here. Will, like, Jada Pinkett is pretty much bullying Will Smith to be on Instagram Live to promote Red Table Talk. But you can look at the look at the look at his eyes. The guy is he looks so scared. Um, I know you don't believe me. Dima, play that clip. We know Esther Perel is coming to the table. She's gonna be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh my goodness. If you could film Astaire, me. Esther, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. No, nah, no, nah, she, yeah, because she, don't just. Would you say that she helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another? Shut your stupid My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just start rolling. Don't Please start watch a stare at the red table because she's helped us a lot can't you tell so guys you saw what happened there um number one he looks terrified uh i know he's trying to pretend like he's not he looks scared he looks like he's being bullied and guess what she don't care she don't care because she released it on Instagram Live. Put him on the, like, listen, forget what you're talking about. I want to talk about this right now. Did that lady help us or not? Obviously, if you're not respecting his boundaries, she didn't help. And I want to talk about that, right? Because there's two things here that I want to discuss. The first is women relationship coaches. Rewind, Emma. <laughs> I had a show with Dr. Tia San Johnson about black men and sexless relationships about a year ago. Tia San Johnson, who's a holding forth over at Fresno State PhD, he talked about going to these female relationship experts. And he said that one of the things that he figured out is that from female relationship experts, they always take the woman's side so that the man must relegate himself to the opinion of the female who is giving the uh, advice from her perspective only. Now, why am I talking about that? Because Jada is clearly saying that this lady who's gonna be on Red Table Talk, that trash ass show on Facebook, has helped their relationship grow. Obviously, we can see from what happened with Chris Rock and we can see on the video, he looks perturbed, he looks scared, he looks upset. All of these different emotions, that we can describe them with words in the dic dictionary, all right? We can see that he's clearly not happy about that, but she's disrespecting his boundaries. And the reason why she feels it's okay to disrespect the boundaries, because what she did was she did some confirmation bias and hired a coach, a relationship coach, that is a woman that would pretty much choose her side in everything. And many men are going to relationship coaches, relationship experts that are women and they are doing it. Let me tell you guys, an honest opinion. I want to give a shout out to Dita Rell. 
uh, check out Unc, you know, because he has a really good channel that deals with uh, with African American men and, and black men in psychotherapy. Fuck that shit, okay? Black men who are having relationship problems, we need to go to black male therapists, okay? Because at least they're going to be a little bit more fair. I've seen there are a few ladies on um, on the YouTube community, social media that's calling out foolishness, but a lot of this in the relationship industry. These guys are saying like, oh yeah, my relationship is better and everything is worse. It's better for the woman because it's like, for example, we're in a sexist marriage. What do you hear? Oh, give her time. Don't upset her. Just, you know, uh, and the whole time you'll be finding out your wife is banging somebody the whole entire fucking time, right? And nothing is getting better for you. You're just being more subordinate and submissive to the person that's hurting you. And let me go to the second partition of this. What do we find out? Hurt people hurt people. Okay. People who are terrified, people who are bullied, well, they go out and do the same thing that uh, they see people doing to them. Don't believe me? Let's talk about what happened in the whole Liberia story. African music, Dima! You know, in, in the 1800s, 18, 12, 14, eight, to, to, to that time, um, America started sending African-American slaves back to Liberia, or the country we now know as Liberia. Those people were enslaved. Okay. When they got to the new colony, they became the elite class. And what are some of the criticisms from historians from West Africa that study this? Um, there's many different stories, some that paint them as heroes, some that paint them as, as villains. But we can clearly see that one thing is for certain, that they did kind of sub subdue the population to a certain extent. Now, yeah, there were some intermingling between them and, the, and that crew, and it was nothing like apartheid in South Africa. But they pretty much became who the whites were when they were in slavery to a certain degree, not to the ultimate degree, but to a certain degree. History points out to that fact that, that, that they became the people who oppressed others. What does that mean? Does that mean that hurt people hurt people? Yeah, this is the reason why Will Smith is who he is. Now, I'm not trying to find an excuse for him and I do sympathize with him, but this is what we see. Many men who are bullied, bullied other guys like Eastern high school in, in, in elementary school some guys who are out there fighting kids and being bullied and you, you find out who the guy's mom is it's like oh that's why he acts like that it makes sense now yeah it does make sense because the guy is crazy okay he's insane right yes okay and 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 and, and the thing about it is like for many men before we start to go to the point where we start attacking other people like some guys deal with this in a different way some guys have these issues they get bullied by their wife and then they become like extreme like black peel um like they could like really dislike women same thing with women they can go they can go extreme but you don't want to be like that you don't want to be extreme you want to enjoy life for the beautiful thing that it is trust me I'm enjoying life more. I mean, I work a lot more now, but it's, it's beautiful, right? I've had people do some things to me, but everybody's not that way. But the one thing that I will say is that when people are putting you in toxic situations, you need to get the fuck away from that. And men, you need your health. I don't care what nobody tells you. You're supposed to put up with this. You're supposed to take it. No, you're not. All right. You're human. You're, you, you have feelings and you have needs and should be met. If people don't want to deal with that, they need to get the hell on. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junker. Appreciate your follow that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at all time high. I'm out. Yeah.